In this video, we will talk about the resources you need to learn JavaScript. What the pages, what books, what manual specification you can read to understand this language, learn how it works and understand all details. So, let's start from the first one, it's a specification ECMA International Specification. You can find it on this resource, all links will be added to description to this video. So, it's the most detailed specification, the latest the specification of JavaScript with all their information. Everything what you need about JavaScript is described in this specification. But, it's specification and it's very difficult to read such documents and not everybody like to read such technical documents. From my experience, I do not like it at all and almost never take a look on this specification, but you need to remember about them. Then I will show you much more better resources to learn JavaScript. But right now let's continue with specification because they are very important. The next one is TC39. TC39 is a community. The TC39 community is comprised of between 50 and uh, about 100 different people from a broad section of web invested companies such as browser makers, Mozilla, Google and device makers, Samsung or some other. All members of the community are volunteers, through the many of them are employees of other companies and so may receive compensation in a part of their duties on this community. This community meets generally about every other month, usually for about three days to review work done by members since the last meeting, discuss issues and vote for proposals. So, this community approving proposals what should be added to JavaScript and then when this proposal goes through all stages, from stage 0 to stage 4, this proposal will be added to JavaScript. The next one, all these proposals, what I mentioned before, you can find on GitHub. It's uh, TC39 proposals and uh, we can see that we have stage 0, stage 1, finished proposal, inactive proposal and everything what can be added to JavaScript someday you can find in this documentation. So if you want to know something new what will be added, for example if you are preparing for interview you can take a look on this document. The next one what is more interesting and uh, more useful is MDN. Web Docs. It's for Mozilla company and uh, it's more useful and more interesting. You can read everything what you need about all features of JavaScript in this documentation. So I would recommend you to read it because of very often when you need to find something you will find a reference to this document. The next one what I want to show you is uh, can I use. Can I use? It's a service which shows you can you use some feature in your browser or any engine. For example, let's try. So let's try, for example, spread. So, for example, JavaScript spread operator. And we can see which browsers support this operator, which not, and we have global coverage. Now, right now it's 89%, almost almost 90% of browsers and engines which already support this operator. Very often if you need to check if some feature is it works or not, you can take a look on this document. The next one, what I recommend, is a bit similar, it's compat table, where you can find the same features and for example which browser supports them or not. For example const and let. We can see that right now it's almost everywhere supported. Green, so you can take a look. Some just very old browsers or engines doesn't support this feature. And right now let's go to more interesting parts. It's the books and resources. Let's start from the books. Yes. So, the most important book you need to read and understand is a book, JavaScript, a book with Rhino. It's a definitive guide. Right now, 
is the sixth edition, but they already released, almost released, seventh edition. It will be released in June 2020. So I would recommend you to read this book because of everything what you need to know about JavaScript is described in this book and you will find everything. It's the best what you can read. But there is another important and really interesting series of books. It's You Don't Know Jazz. You Don't Know Jazz yet. It's the first edition and uh, they are already working on the second edition. This one right now they have just two books, but anyway, it's uh, one of the best series of books about JavaScript. What you can take a look to learn JavaScript, all what you need. My recommendation. And the next one would be go, it's resources. The first one what I would recommend you it's of course my YouTube channel. So take a look on this YouTube channel, subscribe, like videos, and then you will see a lot of interesting topics, videos about JavaScript, how to use it, how to learn it, and uh, other topics. And the two resources I would recommend you it's uh, JavaScript info with uh, all topics you can read. It's short description of JavaScript, functions, operators, and all other stuff you need to learn. And the last one, it's W3 School, which covers a lot of interesting topics of JavaScript also. So all these resources, you can take a look to learn JavaScript, how it works, and then use it, use it on real production experience.